In this video, we'll take a quick look at the administrative side of Acronis CyberFiles Cloud, uh, which is also referred to as a file second share or advanced file second share, uh, partially depending on whether the advanced pack is enabled. Uh, regardless of the name and the advanced pack aspect, there are two parts to administration. The sort of the starting point is the regular management portal for the Corona Cyber Product Cloud. And at this level, you would define administrators and users. And for the file second share, there's a setting here that determines whether somebody is a user administrator or both. Uh, also, while I'm here, just point out that uh, if company administrator is selected, that automatically gives you all the roles, so you don't get that choice to, to modify this if there is a need to give somebody most privileges, but restrict, say, just the file sync and share part, then just uncheck company administrator and set each of the others accordingly. So with the appropriate role in place, we can switch over to file sync and share. In this case, I'm logged in as a user and a, an administrator of both roles. So I'm seeing the documents that I have synced up here. Otherwise, I would have gone straight to this administration console that we're going into now. And this is the part that is specific to file sync and share. So several tabs here that each expand. I'll just highlight a, a few of the more, more important ones here. Uh, maybe the most important is sharing restrictions. Um, file sync and share is designed, as indicated by the name, to allow uh, syncing and sharing files. Now, whether those files can be shared internally and or externally is a choice that may be seen differently uh, in, in different organizations. So if there's a uh, preference or requirement to disallow certain types of sharing, that can easily be uh, controlled here on the administrative side just by simply turning off uh, some of the options here or say restricting for example the maximum number of days that a, a, a link can be valid for for sharing uh, another related settings is you could have uh, shared folders expire the folder itself wouldn't be deleted but the the sharing of the folder would be uh, would need to have an expiration date to be shared Related to that, we have a couple other settings here, file purging policies. File signature is designed to keep revisions of documents that are uploaded or synced or changed. changed. And there are default settings. These can be increased or decreased depending on whether the goal is to keep uh, more old versions or deleted versions of files or possibly just uh, the most recent one. It is can be used to help manage space. In practice, it typically is not going to make that much difference. Uh, typically, the files you know being modified might be, say, you know, Word or Excel files that may not really amount to a whole lot of uh, size in terms of uh, changes. But if that's a concern, then these can also be used to to restrict the amount of space that's used. And there's other ways to do that as well. Uh, somewhat related is expiration of external user accounts. When you invite somebody to, say, share a folder, they have an account created for them automatically. If they don't log in after a certain number of days, their account can be uh, automatically deleted based on this setting here. There are a few others, like down in this general settings section. One I'll point out here is maybe important just depending on the situation there is an option to tie this into uh, microsoft 365 office online to facilitate editing of office documents right within the file sync and share web interface this does require some additional setup and then the users do need to have their own microsoft 365 accounts uh, to facilitate that editing if that's set up right then some of these settings here will apply in terms of whether that's configured and whether they're editing or viewing and editing and then further down are some settings that can be tweaked they don't relate directly to the office side necessarily uh, but if there's reason to say disable uh, you know playing media that you know those options can be can be changed by the administrative settings here 
Um, for additional information about this, you can go to the website. If you go to synchronous.com, support, documentation, that's where all the docs are, and scroll down a little bit here. And the administrator guide for Chronos Cyber Files Cloud covers the settings that we've talked about here and the others that we did not go into. Then also uh, right under that is a user guide for Cyber Files Cloud. Um, this obviously is more user facing. One thing to keep in mind is there are a few features like the notarization and signing of files. Uh, you'll see that those are not mentioned in the administrator document just because there's no real settings related to them on the admin side. But if you get into uh, th using those features, there's some additional details here in the user guide. And we'll have a separate video that goes into uh, those e-signing and notarization features that are available if advanced file sync and share is enabled. Mm -hmm.